Welcome to Black Ice Productions. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Today, we're gonna to be installing a DSX E85 kit on a 2016 Chevy SS. Tools needed for this, some side cuts, picks, and the little white fuel line disconnect tool that comes with the kit. Alrighty, so first off, we're gonna be installing the sensor and then we'll come back and do the wiring. All right, so we're gonna take our little fuel line tool, put it on the fuel rail itself, and it's gonna go in there and release it. You will have some fuel that comes out, so make sure you have a rag to catch it. But pretty much this goes in there, pushes those little tabs together, and then allows it to get over that little lip. So now that we have that disconnected, you wanna take the sensor, plug it into the fuel rail, then take your fuel line and plug it into the sensor. So you'll kind of want to arrange this so your fuel line doesn't have a kink or any like tight turns in it. So you got your wiring harness. We're going to go ahead and start running that. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm going to go off this coil back here. That's what this wiring harness does. It taps into one of these coils. So I'll unplug this back coil. This end right here is going to go to our sensor. So I'll connect it lock the safety. I'm gonna kind of fold this down and tuck these wires up back around here. And we're gonna be working with this back coil pack. This end is gonna go into your coil. Just like that. And then this will plug into where the coil goes. Just like that. And I'm gonna get some zip ties and clean all this up. Next, we're gonna be running the wire to the computer. Okay, so we're gonna be removing this from the computer. I'm getting into the backside so we can tap in to the computer. This connector has a red safety on it right there. You want to move that and then there's a little button right here that will release the lever. Push that in and that lever will fold forward just like that and it'll come disconnected. Next to get this rear cap off, there's two tabs on each side right here. You just want to pry up. like so set that off to the side on the Chevy SS we're gonna be looking for pin 40 anywhere there's not a pin it has these little plastic plugs I'm gonna cut this zip tie right here just so we can have a little bit better access to all these wires so as you can see it says 53 right here that means that this pin is 53 going off the instructions that came with the kit it says that this is uh, pin 33 and we need 40 with that being 33, that one right there is 40. There's nothing in there, so that's gonna be our pin. So we're gonna go to the backside and try locating that, remove the little plug, and then put the new wire in there. So we're on the backside of the plug right now. 
it says 53 right here so that means that this one's 33 all the way down this second gray plug is going to be our pin 40 so I got a small set of tweezers and it's really tight in here so if you guys can't see sorry but we're gonna remove that so now that that gray plug is out we're gonna remove the terminal lock which is this big black piece right here I have a small pick you're just gonna to want to get down there's a little the edge and kind of pry up but be very careful because this is pretty delicate popped up right there on this side popped up on that side it's gonna free up all those connectors in there so we can insert the one that we need set this off to the side this connector has a long flat side on the top and then it has a little boxed edge on the bottom we're gonna take a look at the connector and see which way this pin needs to go into the connector in order to be seated correctly all these have a little boxed edge on the inside and they are all facing to the center of this plug so we're gonna flip it around to the back side and locate that 40 position and then insert this with the box side facing in. So I pushed that pin all the way down and then I felt a little click and now I can't even remove it. I'm gonna go to the back side. As you can see, this is the one that we just installed. It's properly seated. It's facing the same direction. So we're gonna install that terminal lock and then put this connector back on. You wanna make sure everything in there is lined up so you're not pushing any pins out. Everything's locked up on there. We're gonna get us a zip tie and zip tie this wire bunch back to the connector and close everything back up. Now that the sensor is installed, make sure you have the tune updated and have everything looked over to have that enabled. That's it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you later.